This is a pro rib steel panel. It's 38 inches wide from edge to edge, 36 inch coverage from top of rib to top of rib, and each rib is 9 inches on center. One side of the panel is an underlap, and the other side is an overlap. How do you distinguish between the underlap and the overlap? The underlap has a drain channel. The drain channel side of the panel has a lower hip on the rib, okay? So these are called the hips on the rib. There's one on each side. Notice on the overlap side of the panel, the hips are in exactly the same place in adjacent to the top of the rib. But on the underlap side, we have a lower drain channel or a lower hip. This is also called an anti-siphon channel so that when the panel is overlapped properly, the water, when it siphons up, will just hit that air gap and run down the, the roof. Okay, to properly install the panels, the overlap goes on top of the underlap. And there you can see that we have our air gap in there. Now, when you're running your steel, you want to make sure when you're fastening it down that it doesn't get overseated or underseated. Now, overseated would be if this, this panel was pulled too much this direction. Okay, at, at that point, what happens is if you're installing screws through the rib and not in the flat, what will happen is you could have a chance of having a screw pierce the drain channel. So you want to make sure that it's seated properly. If it's underlapped or underseated, that might be sitting more like that. Um, some issues there is you, you could have some leaking again as well. Um, it could cause oil canning if you're putting screws in the flat um, because the panel is tweaking a little bit different. You want to make sure that this is in line with this and, and it's very easy to get underlapped or overlapped because most roofs are out of square and as you're squaring up the steel sometimes you're pushing and pulling on it and it goes one way or the other way and it could be one way on the bottom and it could be another way on the top you just as you work your steel and fasten it you want to make sure you always fasten the overlap first before you fasten each of the other ribs that way you have this locked in and it's going to drain properly